The extrude tool is similar to the two rail sweep in that it allows you to extrude a cross section around a curve, which is again called a drive rail. The icon is located in the same flyout menu that the two rail sweep is located. Note that when you select the start profile, which is in effect the cross section, it will generate a shape. The vectors associated with this can then be node edited to manipulate the shape. One difference with this tool is that it will generate on one side of the drive rail. This can be changed to the other side or the center by selecting either of the options. If you wish, you can also add an end profile which the start will blend into and you can also add a Z modulation curve much like the two rail sweep. The spin tool is again located in the same flyout menu. This tool rotates a curve through a specified angle. In this example, I will use a full 360 degrees. As you can see, if the curve is selected, when you enter the tool, it will automatically generate the shape. Much like the other relief creation tools, you can blend it into an end profile and add a Z modulation curve. Some quite complex reliefs can be created by moving the nodes on the curve. If you wish the relief to be created on the other side, you can select to invert the curve in Z and this will flip it around. As with all of the live relief tools, select apply to keep the changes. The turn tool is much like the spin tool but it will use another axis to rotate. This can again be edited live using nodes to create the shape that you require. Here you can see that I have taken the same curve that I use for the spin and edited it to look like a detailed turned part. Here I am inserting nodes by pressing I on the keyboard where I would like a node to be placed. To create the grooves, Create three nodes and move the center one. The outside ones will act as locking points, meaning that it will create a groove. The only option on the dialog, apart from the combined modes, is the Z scale factor, which can be used to adjust the relief's height prior to applying. 